What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei. So I'm actually gonna bring you guys a different video this time. Uh, and uh, it's actually gonna be about earnings this week, which is I'm actually very excited for. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, actually release this before the uh, Tuesday uh, late afternoon. I'll try to see if I can upload it morning. But uh, anyways, uh, we are on Tuesday. So Monday earnings uh, have already passed. Uh, this is actually the earnings whispers from uh, January 24th, 2022. Uh, this whole week uh, is reporting. These are the major companies that uh, typically people watch. Uh, and uh, you'll see Monday already passed. Tuesday is uh, the one I'm watching. So I'm going to show you guys all the companies I'm kind of uh, expecting to listen to the earnings calls as well that I'm going to be watching and, uh, you know, the ones I'm interested in. Uh, and then let me know in the comment section which ones you guys are watching. So I'll be very interested to see which ones you uh, are going to be listening to the earnings calls. But uh, anyways, uh, Tuesday before uh, opening, we're going to have uh, Johnson & Johnson, which is actually a company that I do have in my dividend growth portfolio. So I'm definitely going to be listening to the earnings calls on that. Uh, you'll see, I believe this is GE. And then we got Verizon. I used to have uh, Verizon, but I actually sold out last year because there is just no growth there for me. And uh, especially since I have a time horizon of like 10 to 15 years from now, it's just uh, not worth uh, that dividend yield. And uh, there's no growth, uh, so I went ahead and reinvested it into companies that have a very, very low dividend yield, but uh, have a very, very nice five-year uh, double-digit caker. So uh, it should outperform those. Uh, so American Express, uh, I'm invested in Visa, so the one I'm watching for is Visa. Then we have Lockheed Martin here, guys. This is a company I have been buying uh, the past couple months. Uh, it was trading around 330 or so, and now it's trading around 370. I'm not sure what the exact price is from uh, currently because uh, you know the market has been going down and uh, we've been buying some of the dips. And then the next one here, uh, 3M. So this is another company that it's in my portfolio. Uh, I do have quite a couple shares in it, so I will be listening to the earnings and uh, we'll see how everything's performing there. Uh, we, then we got Next Era Energy, uh, Raytheon Technologies. Uh, Raytheon Technologies, I don't really have. I used to own it, uh, then I, I actually sold out. Uh, major investment from those types of industries. I have uh, Lockheed Martin. So we got that UMC ADM and then uh, we're gonna do after closing which is one of the ones I'm very excited which is Microsoft. I'm very heavy invested in Microsoft and uh, I'm gonna see how those earnings are which I'm very excited to listen to them. But uh, then we got Texas Instruments, Capital One, uh, F5, CN, Martin, Stride. Uh, none of these actually are ones that I'm interested, in, but uh, the next one here we got on Wednesday, which is actually another great day I'm looking forward to. So we got uh, before opening, I'm gonna just look at the ones that are kind of popping out. So Boeing, I'm not really gonna be paying attention to that one. AT&T, I used to own AT&T, I actually sold out of it. Same thing for Verizon, you know, uh, they are, I think, going to cut the dividend or something. So, you know, I stopped tracking them for a while. Uh, let me know which ones uh, so far that we've covered that you are interested in uh, watching. Uh, but next one right here, we got Progressive. Kimberly Clark is a company I used to own. I actually sold out of it last year as well. Uh, so I've been kind of refactoring my portfolio some and uh, making it much, much better. Uh, you'll, we'll see how it performs in the couple coming years. Uh, and then after closing, guys, we have Tesla. Tesla is one of my major investments in my growth portfolio. And so it has been uh, getting me some great returns. And I really in, I'm very interested in earn, uh, listening to the earnings calls for this one. Uh, then we got Intel. Uh, we got Levi's uh, and then we got Seagate uh, then on Thursday guys before open we got MasterCard which is a competitor for uh, Visa which I'm invested in so uh, I might listen to them and then we got McDonald's which uh, is in my uh, dividend growth portfolio so I will be listening to the earnings calls on McDonald's and uh, checking on 
uh, you know how it's performing uh, then we got uh, Altria which is the next one that I am going to be listening to as well so I got quite a couple this week that I will be listening to and then we got in the after close we got Apple which is another heavy investment I have in the dividend growth portfolio so I'm definitely excited to see uh, what they say and how earnings are then we got Robinhood uh, man Robinhood has been tanking so uh, we will see how that plays out I know that uh, they just released like the crypto wallet I'm not invested in Robinhood but it's just uh, interesting to uh, track and then guys we got visa which uh, is another company i am invested for the long term and I, i'm excited to see the earnings for them so uh, i definitely will be listening to them uh, and then after here is western digital uh, none of these actually interested and then on friday before open we got chevron and then we got caterpillar caterpillar is another investment i do have in my dividend growth portfolio so i will be listening to them and then we got colgate and uh, I believe, yeah, Church and Dwight. Uh, and I believe that's going to wrap up this week. So this week is going to be very exciting, especially for uh, for me because there's a lot of companies I'm invested in. So uh, I will be very busy, guys. Let me know in the comment section uh, if there's any companies you are excited for this week on earnings uh, so it might actually move the market we will see what happens but we are going to continue to dollar cost average no matter what uh, the market is doing uh, if you stuck all the way to the very end be sure that you're subscribed with that bell notification and drop a big thumbs up with the video let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this this is a definitely a different video from uh, any of the other types that I have uh, created before but uh, yeah, let me know, and uh, if you if there's enough interest, I will continue to make these. Bye, guys.